recording. Okay, recording, recording. Okay, so yesterday I gave you that this coordinate over here is n and zero. Okay, and this coordinate over here is zero and n. Now, if I'm going to translate this into this version, I'm going to say that my x coordinates are the domain. So n and zero. Okay, m and zero. And we find that m is uh you know m is the punya partner is zero and zero the punya partner is m and this is the function of f okay therefore by saying that i can say that f m equals to zero and f zero equals to n same logic as this f1 equals to five f2 equals to seven Fm equals to zero, F zero equals to M. By taking the X and Y coordinates from the graph that we So the question they are asking us is the inverse of zero. Okay, we come back to this now. Color F1 is five. Okay, I'm gonna change color. Okay, if I go back the other way, I can say that the inverse of five is one. And the inverse of seven is two. So what's the inverse of zero? Question is, what is the inverse of zero? We look for zero here and we inverse it back. The answer will be n. And that's our answer. Okay. Therefore, by virtue of the fact of that, okay, the first one now. So the second one will be the inverse of n okay, will be zero. Okay, I'm not sure whether this makes more sense than what I explained yesterday, but I was trying to figure out how best uh, to explain this to you. And I thought that by using mapping, it is easier because we all understand mapping. Okay, fm is zero, therefore f inverse of zero going back the other way would be m. Okay, and f you know, inverse of m would be zero. Okay. Which is why the answer for the second one, the graph, uh, The answer for the graph okay, would naturally be the inverse of this. Okay, it will still be this. Okay, except that this now will be n, and this now will be n because this is n and zero. Okay, n and zero. This one will be zero n, and this is f. Uh, yeah, sorry, this is y. Okay, and this is x. Okay, so uh, I hope this helps. I'm not sure if uh, you guys have to make sense of this, but try a lot. Okay? I think this is about the simplest way that I can uh, help you guys to understand is by using the mapping method. Okay? And I map this according to this, taking the function of f. If you map m or the function of f, you get zero. And the other way also. Okay? All right. Uh, the next question that was given to me is uh, from the same book. Okay, from the same book, question 17, set 3. Okay, I'm going to go to set 3, question 17. <coughs> okay, set 3, question 17 huh, is... Okay, you are given the function y equals to 4x cubed minus x squared over uh, 2x. Okay, just in case it's not clear in your book, because like my book is not clear. Okay, set 3, question 17. Okay, on page 23, yeah. So you're given the function over there, but the function that is given, sorry, the equation that is given in the book is kind of not clear. So, uh, may want to rewrite it so that it's a little bit clearer. Okay, it's 4x cubed minus x squared uh, over 2x. <coughs> okay, so the first question is find dy dx. But in order for you to find dy dx, we need to simplify this. This is an easy simplification. Okay, y equals to 4x cubed minus x squared over 2x. If I split it up, it will be 4x cubed over 2x minus x squared over 2x. Okay, and if I simplify it, 
I get 2x squared, okay, and then this one want to be tested, and this one will be minus x over 2, or to make it easier, okay, I'm going to change this to half x. And this is still y, yeah, guys. We haven't differentiated yet, we've only simplified it, okay. So I've only simplified it so that this is much easier to differentiate compared to this. This is constant. So if you can simplify it, uh, simplify it better. Then from here, I can uh, differentiate. Okay, dy dx will be uh, differentiating separately. 2x squared differentiation will be 4x. And this one will just be minus half. And this is question A. Okay? So, uh, just remember, if you can simplify the equation, simplify it first before you differentiate. Okay, otherwise, it's difficult. Very difficult for you to differentiate. I mean, you can differentiate this, correct? But it's too long, too complicated. You don't need that kind of unnecessary drama. Okay. All right. Then we go to question D, which is the ticker. The value of x. Huh? Okay. The value of x when y is minimum. Okay. This sentence uh, is very important. Okay. When the value of y is minimum, there are a few things that you need to remember. Okay. Number one is that when y is a minimum, uh, it is known as a minimum point. Okay. And what does it mean, uh, minimum point, and what is the punya kaitan uh, with differentiation? Okay. Whenever you have a minimum point, okay, this is also known as a turning point. Okay. In differentiation, uh, every minimum and maximum point is also known as a turning point. Okay. And when we talk about turning point, when we talk about differentiation, turning point means that the dy dx is equal to zero. Okay, this is the translation. If it is a minimum point or turning point, okay, dy dx equals to zero. Therefore, the thing that you just now differentiated must be equal to zero because it is a minimum point. Okay, so 4x minus half equals to zero. Okay, then you can find the value of x, which is what you want. Now. Okay, so 4x equals to half, and 4x equals to two. So the key point to take away from this is to remember, lah, first of all, if you can simplify the equation before differentiating it, simplify it first. Okay, but simplifying it doesn't mean that you have differentiated. Okay, remember our differentiation is kuasa mesti turun satu. Then it's differentiated. Okay. Secondly, remember that if there is a minimum point or maximum point, same thing. Okay, those points are known as turning points. And all turning points are dy dx equals to zero. Okay, I just realized that one of my lights is glaring. I'm just gonna turn it off for a while, huh? Hold on. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Guys, hold on now. I need to. <laughs> I need to stop this video for a while because I'm up to the forty minute uh, limit. Um, just give me a while. Uh, Tristan, I'll come back to your question in a while. Huh? Okay, I will come back to you in a while. Okay, I'll give you the link again uh, in your various group. Okay, sorry for this uh, short uh, break, but I need to kind of do this. Okay, I'll see you guys later.